welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Ryan Garcia admits he quit. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Ryan Garcia, according to Michael Benson in TalkSport, in post-fight for Showtime, caught on camera the conversation between Ryan Garcia and Joe Goosen, where Joe Goosen came up to Ryan Garcia and stated, did he hit that part of the rib at all, Ryan? Ryan said, yeah. He said, I knew it. And Ryan stated, and I quote, I did not want to continue because of my rib. So people are saying that Ryan Garcia had an injury in camp prior to the fight. But the key thing to take away is Ryan Garcia saying, I did not want to continue because of my rib. Admitting that he chose not to continue. Not that Ryan Garcia was unable to continue, but that he made a conscious decision not to continue in the fight. That is quitting, if you don't understand. Now, we've seen post-fight in his interviews, he stated, I was going to get back up, but I just couldn't. Now, we've seen at those moments where Ryan Garcia stated, I was unable to continue. I just couldn't get back up. But in a private conversation with Joe Goosen, Ryan Garcia said, oh, I did not want to get up. I did not want to continue. Want and unable are two different things completely. And Ryan Garcia has exposed himself and made it abundantly clear. He did not want to continue. Not that he was unable to continue. Ryan Garcia has quit and he admitted it. And not only that, you know, we've seen all the evidence point to it. We see Ryan Garcia get up immediately after the 10 count. Who does that? He showed no signs of injury. Where? He, he, didn't, he didn't grab his body, his rib, anything. He literally walked to the other corner like there was no issue, no grimace on his face of any pain. He looked absolutely fine. And not only after that, what was also telling us, immediately after this loss, Ryan Garcia losing to Tank Davis. This is supposedly the fight of his life. The fight that was going to make him the star he wants to be. This fight was going to prove everything to the world for Ryan Garcia. This fight meant everything to the world and immediately after losing what does ryan garcia do he's literally looking happy and smiling at joe goosen who does that you're not hurt there's no mental pain there doesn't even appear to be physical pain and yet you're smiling you're smiling how much did you really want to win this fight how much how much? And for all the people that say Ryan Garcia, you know, no true boxer would ever say Ryan Garcia, you know, would quit. No real boxer would ever say that. Only casuals, only only people that don't box would say that. Well, it's funny that a plethora of boxers have come out and stated Ryan Garcia quit. From Chavez Sr. to Carl Frampton to Danny Garcia to Tim Bradley, the list goes on and on and on. All professional boxers, former world champions are coming out saying Ryan Garcia quit. What reason would all of these different people say that Ryan Garcia is a quitter? Who would say that? It's obvious to anybody that's not a dumbass that Ryan Garcia quit. It doesn't make any sense. And the, the icing on the cake for me is the fact that Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis were seen exchanging numbers after the fight, trying to stay in contact, to be friends and buddies. Where's your competitive edge, your spirit, the guy that says, I want to break your jaw, I want to beat you up, I want to kick your ass. Where is that guy? That guy was nowhere to be found. He was happy to quit and didn't exchange phone numbers. I mean, this is garbage truck juice. And the only takeaway that I have from this is this. I will never buy another Ryan Garcia fight, ever. Because at the end of the day, Ryan Garcia is selling us a bag of caca. That's all he's doing. He's a quitter, and you can teach skills, you can teach defense, but you can't teach heart. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.